Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup, which starts with d4. Um, bishop comes on f4, not the pawn, of course. Trying to either diagonal towards um, this c7, and then you can develop your knight. Then play pawn forward. Expecting pawn forward from the opponent to some point of time so that he can develop his bishop and try and go for exchanges. You can play c3 here, trying to defend the check. Queen goes there, eyeing this weak square, which is um, b2, because the bishop was developed early. So b2 becomes a weakness. Now opponent is trying to take, uh, get me to take this knight so that once I do take, he can take, I, and I take back, he takes with the pawn. I take with the queen and he gets to take the pawn extra. And then he gets the rook as well. So that is what we are not going to be trapped about, but tell up the knight. Maybe take with the knight next if he doesn't take now. So he connects both the knights. In this case, we can go here, eyeing this knight, and just take with the bishop, and then we are good. There's no trick here. Oh, opponent is trying to just double up here on the bishop. I think I should castle once and just put this to end. Hmm, this looks fine. I should castle. So there's no such big threats now. I can take on the knight. I'm going to take this sooner. Um, and let's do it right away. Takes. And I can take with the knight. And he takes. And now I don't need to take. Simply. And come back. But then he plays pawn forward and becomes a pain. Or rather, I'll take and then defend this pawn. There are just two ways to play it. I like it this way. Now I come back, defending this pawn. Can come back with a knight or try and exchange the queens or attack with the rook as well to take on the pawn next. Now opponent cannot castle this side now because of his pawn structure being spoiled. Material wise we are okay. So opponent develops the bishop instead and now I can attack with the rook and suddenly this pawn is going to go away. Yep. I'm going to take on the pawn. So the opponent castles despite him being wide open up from there. That is interesting and too bold, I would say. Can I play pawn forward and then again? Nah, my queen goes. Queen's hanging there. I think I should just play pawn forward and make sure that there's lone last rank weakness. Um how do we go about this now? We play this pawn. Trying to go for here and just dislodge the pawn forever. If he proceeds, then we're okay too. I'll take. Doesn't bother much. Now he has to take the pawn. I'm just come forcing him to take the pawn here. This was important to block his diagonal as well. Okay, I have to lose a pawn there, but I can just simply get my at least rook to safety, which will be defending the pawn always. He can take a pawn and live happily with that. Can go with my knight, asking to exchange if he really wants to. I take back with the pawn. There's a check coming next. Then a discover attack on the rook as well if he tries to take the pawn there. And if not, I'm good at folks too. 
and a check is coming too. He gives us the rook. Is he serious? Is is he serious? I don't know. He gives the rook instead. That was weird. And he doesn't take the knight too. Wow. So I'll just get back with my knight. This makes more sense. Attacking the bishop. I thought he will take my at least the knight. He doesn't. Good for me. Okay. Now our primary task is just to exchange the queens of the board. Or to make his life miserable further. Which can be done by first of all removing the last rank weakness. And then going here with the rook. The idea is to go to the last rank, give a check, and then give a check from here. And then I have knight as well hanging around. Of course, the rook is guarded with the queen. Okay, let's give a check. Goes up, which means this check cannot be stopped now. And there's one square where he goes, and that would be made. Nicely done, defeating 1989 is always nice. And he has been defeated once earlier as well. Oh, he defeated me last time. Okay, so that's an equalizer. Always helps. Let's see where we turn this game around in our favor. Let's analyze from computer perspective, how it went. Started with D4. Uh, open plays knight f6 to begin with i play bishop f4 the london system setup e um so i open played d5 there i went with knight f3 pawn c6 by the opponent e3 by me just the normal london system setup knight to d7 then by the opponent and i got my bishop on d3 and my opponent gives a check which is not worth because i can simply save with the pawn and he goes back attacking the b uh, pawn now and I just get my queen active I the right diagonal towards the king he offers uh, the knight exchange with the bishop which I deny but go on with the other knight and then he connects both the knights and then I just went attacking the knight further with the bishop and then he gets his uh, light square bishop eyeing uh, the diagonal and here I just castled first asking my opponent to take if he really wants so he doesn't so I take on the knight and then he takes the uh, knight with the pawn, the bishop with the pawn. And then I take his uh, knight. He takes back with the bishop. I take, he takes back. Computer suggesting, yes, you should take, which I did. So yeah, till here we were played perfect moves as per the computer. And see, the advantage of it, 2.1 in favor of white. And that is more because uh, my opponent can, should not ideally castle on this side now because his pawn structure is spoiled. Also, I have got a queen active. I have a knight for a bishop. Uh, yes, the dark square bishop can be a pain in the end game, but not straight away. And I've castled my king to the safety. That's more important. I've got a good pawn structure in the center. Uh, so why not white should have advantage? That's why white is having the advantage. Here, my opponent take on, takes on the pawn. Uh, I could have attacked, but I just, why didn't I attack? I am just still wondering now. Uh, because I could have actually attacked his queen, but I didn't. And then I went with the attack by the other rook. Then he goes back. I take on the free pawn there. Opponent castles, which was the right move then because my rook is already there. Uh, and then I just went to the center pawn, e4, trying to break things open up from there. And then exchange the rooks, which was the right move again. And then pawn forward, e5. Nice move there, trying to make sure that uh, this pawn never gets in the way of queen for checkmating eventually. He has to save the bishop, but he tries to give a check first, like attack my rook. So I go back to f1, the best move again. Then I open goes back with the pawn there. I still take the pawn, he takes back with the bishop. 
Then I go with knight on e5, asking him to exchange. Now that's a bad move as for the computer, and I can go ahead with knight to d2, and I'll try to figure out why so. Because what is what's happening here? Computer says to get your the opponent should get his rook centralized, and then maybe we go for some pawn break. But then I meanwhile I can go with knight attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back, and I can pin the knight to or pin the bishop to by playing uh, my queen here. That is also one of the moves which computer was recommending for a fraction of a second. But I can go with my knight attacking the pawns and threatening checkmate. Uh, it's not made actually can move so opponent would have just kicked my knight away and now computer is saying attack the queen instead which he can just deny and if he denies taking there's a check coming he goes sideways what is the follow-up a uh, knight sacrifice how can ever possible i see this i doubt it if i sacrifice the knight and he does take oh then i go here Forgetting my last rank, my opponent can just sidestep and once I start taking stuff here, that would be a quick mate. Check with the queen, opponent goes here. Maybe rook can give a check as well. I don't know. Should work. Yes, mate in two goes here. And then, okay, we can follow up. Ah, pawn will do the checkmate as well. <laughs> So th yeah, that can be funny, uh, but yeah, that was knight sacrifice. I was never going to see that. But instead, uh, I just went with knight to e5, where my opponent didn't take and just played pawn for a visual blunder. I just forked the pieces. He saves the bishop. I took the rook. He can take back with the queen, but he doesn't. Instead, takes on the pawn, and I also take on the pawn first. He still doesn't take, and this time I decided, okay, I'll save my knight at least. And then I go with my knight to c6, opponent retrieves the bishop on f6. I go with the uh, pawn forward first, trying to just make sure that my last rank weakness is not there anymore. It's always good to just ensure that there's no last rank weakness. You don't want to get checkmate in the last rank by a 1900 player. So you just go ahead and trying to attack and follow up with some checks. And that's what happened. I just give a check, he goes up and then forward with another check and this time he moves his king instead of getting the bishop in between the best move was to put his bishop in between and i just play pawn forward and over the time he'll just lose all, everything uh, very quickly because the bishop will, is, is can, cannot be saved actually i'll just take with the pawn and i've got two pieces extra then and it's almost over but instead my opponent moved towards the wrong square which was h7, and that was mate in one from there. Yeah, quickly changed all around. So be aware of the knight folks, which can land up any point of time. Not and make sure that open get doesn't block your diagonals with his pawns. So just try and spoil his pawn structure initially, and if possible, and then try and take advantage of it. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye bye.